Now can you hear me? You can't hear me? That's awful. Hi, Fury. Can you hear me now? <laughs> the rotating magnemites. Are you sure it's not one magneton? When do three magnemites? You can hear me. Amazing. All I did was check one box that I didn't know what it did. So, <laughs> but it worked. <laughs> All I did was check one. I was like, track audio preferences, track something, check box, and now you hear me. So, that's great. I'm delighted. So, you missed my entire discourse about the woo-woo. I was talking about how the woo-woo is, um... About how I'm drinking. You missed my entire talking about the woo-woo, which might be a good thing. I, I'm drinking a woo-woo, which, which is a cocktail made of vodka, peach, schnapps, and cranberry juice. And um, I had made one earlier and half finished it. And then um, I had half finished it. And then I realized that I left it downstairs. So I had to go down and get it. But since it was half full, I was like, that's sad. So I just topped it up with vodka and peach schnapps. So now it's like a plus ultra woo-woo. Um, <laughs> so that's the kind of flavor we're going for tonight. Bill Clinton would be proud. He's there at home stretching out the presidential shirts or whatever. And we're playing Pokemon Stadium 2 at the moment, but literally... I just put this amazing game into the machine so that we could test and see if the cable is working so that we could get the audio levels right. By the way, is the balance all right between my dulcet tones and beautiful, beautiful voice and the beautifully perky music that, that comes with Pokemon Stadium 2? If you could let me know that the levels are good, that would be great. Before we get started. Can you hear the woo-woo? We probably will be seeing Sega Mega Drive at some point. Because um, I want to do loads of Sonic shit since it's his birthday. And he's my hero. So we'll definitely be doing stuff. So, Pokemon Stadium 2 is in the machine at the moment. However... I have lots of other N64 games that we can play here. I have, um... Brilliant, that's perfect. So I have a couple of other N64 games here, such as Mischief Makers, which I've never played before. I have the South Park game on Nintendo 64. I have WrestleMania 2000. However, even better, I have WWF No Mercy, probably the greatest wrestling game of all time. Um, I have Smash Brothers for the Nintendo 64, Super Mario 64, though that's so passe. I have Pokemon Snap, the, the OG. I have Goldeneye. I have Bomberman 64, which is brilliant. I have um, a game that has no label on it, so it's probably a creepypasta, and I'll probably get murdered by... Um, by, like, a, a Luigi sprite or something like that, or a Luigi Mario 64 model, um, or Yoshi. And I also have Pokemon Stadium 1, Ocarina of Time, Earthworm Gym 3D, which we are not playing because it's hard as balls, and also Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie. So Mischief Makers sounds like it's good, uh, according to that reaction. I'm feeling, to be honest, I'm feeling probably maybe just some random stuff. Like, WWF No Mercy would be fun, just because I used to play it so much before, and I've never pla I haven't never played it in probably... I wouldn't be surprised if I, the last time I played No Mercy was, like, before I got my GameCube. I, I probably just stopped playing it when I got the GameCube. But let's stick with, um, let's stick with, uh, Pokemon Stadium 2 first. I'm going to try these, like, marker things. So now I'm adding a marker. And it just added it. <laughs> it didn't even give me the chance to name it something. Um, just because that might help me break up the videos later. So let's start just with some mini games. You know, why not? 
Also, thank you to the three of you. I presume the three um, lucky people are Conan, Fury, and Tapers. So thank you for being there. Maybe try and round up some more people on Twitter. You know I like it when um, I I'm all about the peer pressure, you know. So maybe try and get some other people to haul their asses over here so that they can enjoy themselves like they should be doing. Um, we're going to do minigame champion. We're going to do a tournament versus the computers and probably get her asses kicked. Let's stick to normal mode just so that I don't embarrass myself too much. And yeah, seven tokens sounds good. The music of this is insane. The winner of the next minigame does something. Oh, this one. This is the weird, like, Japanese one where you chop the log when it falls down. Okay, so Fair Slip is the name of our one. You better not fuck me over, Fair Slip. How dare you fuck with me in the year of Luigi. Okay, I actually have to concentrate on this because this freaks me out. Oof. Now that was bad. See, the thing is, if you get it above it, you get fuck all. However, even if it's really close to it, if you get it below it, you still get something as far as I know. So even though I think that time it was technically further away, I still get 10 points. And I'm winning. Fair slip is in the lead. This is giving me like bad like PTSD from that one cur from those like Kirby sword fighting mini games as well. They like freak me out too to no end. Oh, I didn't even see where it is on that one. Is it near the bottom? I shouldn't be drinking the woo-woo. <laughs> this isn't a woo-woo kind of mini game where you can play a woo-woo and get away with it. Or drink a woo-woo and get away with it. Ah! It's not even giving me a chance. I don't know where it is. <laughs> oh my god. This is a kid's game. It shouldn't be freaking me out so much. I'm still managing to win. It doesn't say very much for the normal level computer players when me, slightly tipsy, is able to kick their asses without even paying attention. Does anybody think that the um, the little to do you know, like the little markers, the little symbols that show your um, the little symbols that show your like who's one P, who's calm, or whatever? They look like, is it like Bakuman? The one that evolves into, the one that evolves into Koromon. It totally does. Okay, so now we're Topermot or Toppermot. Oh, I love this one. This one is so good. Not only does it have Hitmon top, but it's just fun. Oh no, he already got me. Yeah, but I got him back. I'm just trying to, like, lurk and pick them off as I can. Okay, so that should have counted as one. Whoa, Jesus. They could, he put some stank on that one, the green computer character. Okay, so how did that not count as three? I demand a recount... Okay, so I hit into him, but I bounce back and die. Yellow computer, we need to get him out of here. And he got three coins for that. I debate that the I debate that the Scyther game is harder than this, and I won that one, so I should have more coins. Also, I'm glad to be here upstairs in the uh, in the mezzanine, as I call it, because that's what it is. Um, I'm glad to, I'm glad to be up here because I bought these flowers today, right? Because we have guests coming over tomorrow. Pick barrier ball, that's fun. Isn't this pretty much in the first game as well? Oh no, it's not. It's similar to the one in the first game. Tap, 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 tap. 
I hope I'm looking at the right Pichu. Yeah, I am. I'm kicking their asses on this one. Which I should be. They're just normal level computers. <laughs> yeah. The, um... They just, like, copied Digimon 100%. Digimon is the Alpha Omega of, uh, of monster-based, um, monster-based franchises which emerged in the 90s. Um, the, uh, I'm glad to be up here because we have guests coming up to, up, coming over tomorrow, right? Because that's finally allowed again. We're actually going to behave like normal people and have two people over for a nice cheese and meat board. Oh, this one! Birdiosh, that's not a good omen. That's idiot, but he's a bird, and I can't see the bottom. I can't see the bottom because of the top of the MacBook. Okay, get that. I'm gonna load up. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be like Gossin, Gossin Cinderella. Beans. That's who I'm gonna be. Where's my Snorlax? Where's my lemon? Oh, there it is. No, get the Snorlax. Light the lamp, not the rat. Okay, Papa needs a new piano. No, Papa needs a Snorlax. I'm just gonna get... Uh, no, I need that. Don't... Uh, the yellow computer, you've been getting on my last nerve. Joy, I've been good to you. But now, I'm coming to the edge. You're not gonna see this face no more. You think you're smart, yellow computer. You think you can get away. But you can't run in those little high uh, heels. That's mine too. And I only have two seconds to get my- Get your ass over there! <laughs> <laughs> I would love to have you over for a cheese and meat board, Fury. Um, so, but, but unfortunately, that would probably defy the laws of time and space for you to make it from Costa Rica over here in the allotted period of time. <laughs> Um, but yeah, like, he, this is my, this is the thanks I get for being a good person, right? Every time I try to be a good person, I fall flat on my face, right? Because I decided today when we were out shopping, oh, I have to actually have to concentrate on this one. Clefsor. Nice music, by the way. It's like, kind of like 90s sitcom music. One, two, three. Is this all you have to do? Count the snails? You're taking it easy on me. I hope I get right, get this right. The, the funny one on this game is... The funny thing that happens on this game is that sometimes you see one of them just be an idiot. And they just go beep, 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 beep. Even if there's nothing there. Okay, I just tapped as I... Look like this! What the hell are they doing? They just go beep, 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 Um, but yeah, this is the, uh, this is the thanks I get for being a nice guy. We were shopping today and I decided to get some flowers, right? I decided, oh, I'll be a good person. I'll pick up some flowers to make the place look nice for our guests coming over tomorrow evening, right? So they had these flowers and they're alliums, right? So they're like a long stalk with a big purple sort of a ball of little flowers on it. They look gorgeous and they would... And I knew that they'd look good in this vase that I have, right? Um, so I took them home, put them into the vase, and then all was right with the world. However, right, what I realized today is that who saw six of those things? Iglybuff? You're just about as useless as JPEGs to Helen Keller. I should put you down like old Yeller. Still living in your parents' cellar, printing out pictures of Sarah Michelle Geller or whatever the song goes. <laughs> like, I didn't even count them properly. I got that one. I totally fucked that one up. Here they are going ballistic here. Um, so yeah, the flowers though, downstairs, whatever scent they give off is like driving my eyes crazy. Like, making my eyes water. Did I get it right? Oh, I smoked them. I got a perfect score. Yeah, there. Their reward is shaken baby syndrome. Um, the So, yeah, the, the flowers downstairs 
are driving my eyes crazy. I'm going to have to get rid of them. It's really annoying. And I've never got those flowers before, so usually I stay away from, like, those big white lilies. Like, those big white belts, Helga. Don't get a five or a six, asshole. Three. No, don't rip off two coins off of me. Um, the, um, oh no, I'm gonna fuck this one off. My eyes generally are sensitive. Like, I have to be careful when it comes to, um, I have to be careful when it comes to things like candles or cleaning supplies or anything with like a strong, especially like an artificial fragrance or something like that. Um, whoop, nice one, Tobaki. I knew I should have played as Ammonite. You can actually play as Ammonite in this game if you have one on, if you have one on file, in a filing cabinet. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, like, my eyes generally are quite sensitive to anything with, like, a strong fragrance, like, cleaning supplies or, like, candles with an artificial perfume on them or anything like that. And as well, like, those big white lilies and fla some flowers, like, um, can set me off as well. Like, my eyes will just hurt and water and things like that. And these ones, I've never had them in the house before, but now I know. I've learned my lesson, right? Um, I don't even win anything for that. All that effort for nothing. So this is the thanks I get for doing all that overtime. Again! Now I'm just in defense mode. Is what it is. Don't pick the goal back game. Come on. You're killing me, Smalls! I'm gonna take a drink of my woo-woo. I need it to take the edge off. Oh, I have to flap. So I'm a goal bat. I'm I'm picking up hearts, but they're kicking my ass. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Maybe I'll just try and like scavenge the hearts off the other players. Well, that's not working out. For I'm gonna lose all my coins. I can't even tell which goal bat I am. They're all blue. They're kicking yellow. Yellow is kicking my ass. I don't know why he's coming after me. I don't even have anything. It's like, leave him alone. He's already dead. I used to be good at this game. I used to be good at all of these games. I've got fuck all. Is everybody going to lose this? I think I'll go back to my original strategy of, of just trying to scavenge what I can. I'm, I'm totally getting ripped off here. So yeah, my guests, in the end, are not going to have any any nice flowers because I'm gonna pick them up and I'm gonna throw them into a. I'm gonna throw them into the bin. You have to dilute it in so much water, and you and the lawnmower. That's the thing. It's annoying. It's not like snatched. Swipe or no swiping? Didn't you ever hear that one, asshole? I suppose I can be magnanimous and let him have it. Um, that's the thing. Like with like cutting the grass or, um, or like cleaning the house or trying to have flowers for the. Oh no, this one stresses me out as well. Trying to have flowers for the guests. Like we're just trying to do what we're supposed to do, right? It's not like we're there being like, oh. This is my Prada perfume or something like that, or like, tip to the post. It's yellow, I swear. He's gonna win. Um, we're not, it's not like we're like trying to squirt ourselves, like pour a bucket of Oh, for fuck's sake. First you do the bait and switch, and then there's a bomb in there. Um, like, but with Daisy by Mark Jacobs or something like that. Like, we're literally just try trying to do what we're supposed to do to get by in the world. And this is the thanks we get. This is the worst game of this I've ever seen in all my born days. 
two pine cones, pine cones, a bunch of shitty strawberries, and one bunch of grapes. And still managed to win. Do, does that mean, what do I get? Do I steal a coin? Or do I get one coin? <laughs> yeah, imagine. There, there, there should be, like, someone, surely someone must have done a ROM hack. Not a ROM hack, but, like, a hack of that. You know, like, some sort of parity game where it just takes all the random mini-games from different Nintendo 64 games or something like that. Oh, I love this one. This one's easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't get electrocuted if whatever you do. Wherever all these eggs are even coming from. Don't look at the competition, just stay in your own lane and concentrate on what's going on here. Like, are the... Are the Teddy Ursa and Bellossom the ones that are supposed to be orchestrating this fiasco here? It's really nice music, though. Well, so far I've dropped one. That I've avoid, I've like missed out on a perfect score by one egg. This and this is far more relaxing than that uh than that scyther game. Any any day of the week, I must say. But yeah, it'd be cool if there was like someone who did like a hack of all the random mini games that are in um um that are in like. Pokemon Stadium, Pokemon Stadium 2, Donkey Kong 64, Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, like any of those things, you know? It'd be so good. 98, I only missed two. They smoked him on that one. Like, the people that do the Mr. Like, like the Mr. Vile game is just insane, but... I must say, there are a couple of mini-games in Banjo-Tooie that give it a run for its money. Watch the game, like, screw me over now. Okay, no. This one's for all the marbles, guys. Do you think I can do it? They think it's all over. Okay, barrier ball. My moly. I didn't even even look at what the um I didn't even look at what the um at what the names of my Chansey was. It's probably like yes nah Chansey. Like um like in the Sevi Isles. Whoever decided that this is the noise, uh, Mr. Mime makes is deranged. Come on, we have to get this. It's not that hard. Put some stank on it. That's what we need to do. Yellow is kicking my ass again. Fuck him, oh my god. It doesn't help that, um... Oh, face off. I'm going to take his face off. Yes, take his face <laughs> off. Oh, this is fun. I'm glad you tuned in for this. Which Pokemon is larger than Wigglytuff? Sunkern, obviously. No, the answer is a Ditto who turns into a Waylord. That's the answer. Oh no. Well, as long as it wasn't yellow, I'm happy. Come on, I'm like hanging on for one coin here. This is humiliating. It's taking me like a half an hour to beat the, the computers at Pokemon Stadium <laughs> minigames. Almost, you don't have to tell me. I'm well aware. Okay, they're gonna kick my asses at this one as well. <laughs> Fan up.
fan up. I've I have utmost faith in you. Let's try and get the inside track here. Just I think I have to concentrate on this one. Can't it just give me the chancy game seven times? And then I'll get it like every time. No way is yellow getting through there, that minefield. No way is getting through here either. Green is gonna fucking lap me! This is total BS! Are they seriously, like, laughing me? As long as I don't come in last, I'm happy. Jesus. Yellow. My sworn nemesis. Yellow Bakuman. Bakuman or whatever. Then it has the audacity to play that irritating bossa nova music I, I swear I'm going to lose <laughs> they're going to beat me come on just give me one mini game that I can win give me the furret game with the pokeballs the one with the ostrich and the balls thank you watch me lose it now like an ultramaroon tree tall I have utmost faith in you I can't believe we're fighting over a Pokeball. <sighs> Jesus. This, okay, this game is stressing me out. <laughs> Why, like, how was I not more stressed as a child playing this game? How, like, how did this game not give me, like, the most nervous disposition of all time? Because this is, like, seriously... This, is, this has me on a knife edge. I, I ju I also, I just like had like a moment of fear and had to like, had to double check whether, um, whether I was pushing them into the right goal. Yeah, lick my ass for it. Treetull is the winner. Well, snatch from the jaws of defeat, did I actually become the champ? Finally, oh my god, my reputation remains intact. The champion, Pichu wearing a crown. Thank you for tweeting out for me, Tapers. I really appreciate it. I'm also going to tweet. Um, we are playing Pokemon Stadium 2 at the moment. Mini game central. Wait a second, I'm a. P Why am I a Togepi? When did that happen? Please play again. Yeah, maybe in another 20 years. Will we do the, the quiz? I I'm afraid to go to hard mode. Use the C buttons to answer, okay. Which of these Pokemon only exists as male? What? There are female mod champs? This is like Pokemon Channel all over again. Who gives you the fog badge? Morty, obviously. Come on, this is the first grade stuff, SpongeBob. Is referred to as the walking bug Pokemon inside uh, the Bugsy. The clues in the name, you fool. Which of these Pokemon is silver? <laughs> okay, now it really like has a low opinion of me. Fast ship sails between Olivine and uh, Vermilion City. And Vermilion City has really good music in Gen 2 as well. Um, Quillfish. 
otherwise known as Mr. Paul. Deli Bird, the delivery Pokemon. <laughs> De Deli Bird is the magnet Pokemon. Maybe the babe magnet Pokemon? Deli Bird. What's this? The Deli Bird special? Kurt's house is located in what? Oh, Azalea Town. That's the Pokeball guy. Hop to it. Which Pokemon can be caught only by using Her Heracross, obviously. <laughs> Slowpoke. Swinub is a brown Pokemon. Which Pokemon is yellow? What does Swinub have to do with that? Which of the following is a water a Chinchow? Okay, so now it's going easy on me. Where does the Karate King trip Mount Mortar? He trains in Blue's house. Oh god. I think that's Beedrill. Yeah, there we go. That was like somewhere inside in the, the recesses of my mind. Togepi. Um, that's Shelter. I'd know it anywhere. Don't try to trick me, game. I, of all people, know what know what a Shelter is supposed to execute. Well, maybe if you hurry up. Tin Tower. No, it's not. It's Whirl Island. Yeah, exactly. Billy has ten apples. How many pairs does Barbara have? Oh, did I get the record? I can't believe that previous me didn't, couldn't even muster 16 points. Maybe I have grown up. So, what do we do now? Seeing as we did... We can look at my room. I don't think I... I don't think... Oh, I don't can't even look at my room because I don't have the transfer pack attached. Do Earl's Pokemon Academy. So, first I think we have to, like, read all of this crap. Can we just go to the end? Also, why is there, like, a... A horsey there? Let's do the test. I feel... I feel, uh... I feel cocky today. Following my amazing performance in the last quiz... This music is so disconcerting. Fighting. Heal half the maximum HP. Moonlight. This Earl's thing, this, this Earl's thing, is actually really, um, is actually really cool because they'll give you like these battles where you have to do, they're, they're like kind of gimmick battles where you have to, um, where you have to do them in a certain way. Like there's a specific way that they set it up for you to win it, like they make you learn how to use a specific strategy or whatever. Um, full heal. Okay, I'm doing alright so far, Earl, you're going easy on me. That's a strange question. I think it's because you can you can only have tree on tree battles in this game. Um, oh, uh, poison! This is back in the day when the physical special divide was based on type. After it evolves, um, slows down. Okay. These are really strange questions. Shadow Ball. Melo or which uh, special defense? What often happens to the no Why is a raven like a writing desk? Um, after using a stone. Decreases. Usually it's like zero in these older games. Once you use a stone on them, they just never learn a move again. I will announce your score. Yahoo! You qualified! Splendid! Your wisdom is impeccable. Wonderfully done. Wonderful! Be proud and go to tell others. 
Well, I'm telling people right now, Earl, I don't know if you know it, but you're on TV. You're going out to a, an audience of one. Test your strength. Who would you like to battle? Tapers, who do you want to battle? Do you want to battle Camper Cole? Super Nerd Melvin? Schoolboy Carson? Male Swimmer Clayton? Youngster Jonathan? Picnicker Cindy? Or Last Nancy? I'm going to take a sip of my woo-woo. Clayton? Him? Oh no, Clayton is this one. Carson looks smug as well, by the way. Hint, what's the hint? Fixed amount of damage, regardless of the user's attack power and the target's defense. Let me give you some examples. Yeah, yeah, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom. Let's do this. He does look exceedingly smug, actually. Oh, so I get what's going to happen. He's going to use all these Pokemon that use attacks that beef up his defense. And, um... And we should probably use to fix damaged attacks. Like these. By the way, I picked Dragonair, Pinsir, and Murkrow because they have Dragon Rage, Seismic Toss, and Nightshade. So yeah, th this is actually really fun. This is like one of my favorite parts of Pokemon Stadium 2 is the, uh, is the, um, is the school or the, the academy because it's, um, it's... Like, they actually, some of these battles later on get quite difficult, you know? And they have, like, a specific way that they want you to do it. Also, it's great to be able to hear an announcer in a Pokemon game again. I haven't heard an announcer in a Pokemon game since the days of Pokemon Battle Revolution. I wonder if anyone's still online playing Pokemon Battle Revolution. Well, no, they're not, because I think the Wii online network, like the Nintendo network for the Nintendo Wii, is, um, defunct. I don't think it's online anymore, is it? Oh, sorry, I bumped the mic. Things are getting serious with this woo-woo. And yet he can persists with this, with this strategy of his, which he should know is just doomed to fail. You can say that again, announcer. Of course, they have to have a HP, a number of HP that's like. Not a multiple, an easy multiple of 40, so you're just forced to use this fourth Dragon Rage to chip off the last 14 HP. Swimmer Clayton, you really know how to get under my skin, I'll tell you that much. Also, what the fuck is up with Mux Sludge doing like 45 damage to me? You call yourselves professionals? I can't work under these conditions. Mr. Mime looks like he's taking a 10 pound, dro dropping a 10 pounder. <laughs> Come back and face each other. Well, there you go, Mr. Mime. It's almost like you didn't see what happened to the other Pokemon. <laughs> Obviously, you didn't listen to Earl's hints. Maybe Earl gave him a hint like, ha ha ha, use all of these defense moves and the other guy won't be able to see. Uh, like scratch you. The white, hot the white hot battle continues. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. We need to have we need to have Bill Clinton narrating this. Seriously though, is like the Nintendo 64's lifespan not like like pretty much the lifespan of the well maybe not the lifespan of the Clinton administration but like close at least as far as i know well no like the 
I suppose I only I only associated with that because of how um Oh so now he's just gonna kill me. Well you just wait, I'll get Murkrow out. You can't run in those little high uh, heels. You can't you can't can't run in those little high heels. Who are we gonna send out? Murkrow. You're going to rue the day you messed with Dragonair. I guess I just associate the Nintendo 64 with the Clinton administration because, like, like I got my Nintendo 64 when Pokemon Stadium came out. Like, I was definitely that kind of person who, like, up until then I was a Sega person. I had never had a Nintendo console until Pokemon. I don't think I'm alone in that. I was a Sega boy, true and true, up until then. Um, and, uh... The, um... So, so obviously I associate playing the Nintendo 64 with the twilight of the Clinton administration. Maybe Monica Lewinsky likes to play Mischief Makers on her Nintendo 64. <laughs> Don't make me take out Cloyster. Is this some sort of, like, cruel psychological trick? As we've learned from the anime, Cloyster's defense is worth very little when you just send your Kingler over there and make it bash it to pieces for about an hour. Like, they should have that in the Pokedex. Kingler's claw is so strong, he can just wail on Cloyster until it cracks open. And at least Cloyster, uh, you know, could we have expected anything less, you know? Cloyster's a stand-up guy. Cloyster knows what respect is. Cloyster has a, um, Cloyster has a, a, a quantity of HP, which is a nice, even, like, even multiple of 40, which means we're able to cleanly take him out in three hits. Cloyster knows how to go out in style. Cloyster, you're a doll. I'm gonna drink to you with this woo-woo. Everything I do, I do for you. To wit to woo. It's true, everything I do, I do it for you. Like, seriously, Brian Adams gets paid to write that shit? You wanna drink? Oh no, you're working! Yeah, you can't be hitting the sauce on the job, Fury not allowed. We took out Swimmer Clayton. Do you know who looks like he has a chip on his shoulder? Melvin. He looks like... <laughs> he looks like if we don't take him out now, he could cause some problems. Let's take a hint here. This is a basic strategy for Pokemon battles. If you use an attack that matches up favorably against the defender's time... For example, oh, they actually even play the sound effect? Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it, I get it. Super Nerd Melvin looks like the kind of guy who's like, if we don't take stop him before he starts, he's going to become a super villain. He's like, what's the name of that asshole in The Incredibles? Um, Syndrome. That prick. That's what this guy is going to become. Okay, so he has like 500 fire types. So Clefable, sorry but you're on the bench for this one. Furret, you're in. Miltank, you're in. Stantler, you're in. You know what, like, Stantler can probably, Stantler or Mil Miltank could, do you know what we'll like lead with Miltank? Let's do a Whitney on it. Not a Whitney Houston. I don't get so emotional, baby, every time I think of you. Also, I like how every single Pokemon makes, like, their weird Game Boy noise, and then Miltank just goes, <laughs> Like, what's up with that? 
Let's just try the rollout. The thing is, like, Mill Tank is tanky as all get out as well, so. And a critical hit. We literally flattened him. First, we and we looked sexy while doing it. Did you see that? He's gone. Paint me like one of your French girls, Jack. Nine? Oh yeah, I forgot was the critical hit. Lulled me into a false sense of security. Don't burn me, you asshole. Miltank just shrugs it off. Like nothing. Your days are numbered, Quilava. I hope you have burn heal. Arg, I fried my circuit. Oh, I don't know, Scoob. I don't, I don't know, Scoob. Arcanine. I think, I think the narrator needs to go to Earl's Academy to learn how to pronounce Pokemon names properly. Also, what is up with Miltank being so fast? This thing, like, Miltank is just crazy. Like, it's bulky, good attack power, great move pool. It has a move it can use to heal itself in normal circumstances, not like this bullshit where it doesn't even know milk drink, even though it's a cow. And it's fast. It's, like, deceptively fast. It's, like, one of those Pokemon that's just deceptively nimble. Get flattened, our canine. Did anyone ever see Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, the movie? Well, if you haven't, don't pay to watch it now, because we don't support bad people. But if you happened to see it in the past, um, if you happen to see it in the past, there's, like, one random part where the guy who's, like, Barty Crouch or whatever, who's also Trigger in Only Fools and Horses, randomly, um, where he, <laughs> yeah, there's that part, which is funny, with, Harry, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Um, but there's also, like, this random part where when Harry, my namesake, um, pulls the Hungarian horn tail or whatever it is out of the bag, the guy trigger from Only Fools and Horses says, "A Chinese fireball." Ooh, like that. Like who was the director for that movie? Like who was sitting there in the director's chair with the megaphone saying, "Trigger from Only Fools and Horses." I want you to say it like this: "A Chinese fireball." Ooh, like what the fuck? Who was sitting there saying, "I want like you, um." What's your name? Michael Gambon, replacement for the late Richard Harris. May God rest his soul. I want you to run in at a hundred miles an hour, screaming, Harry, did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Like, who the fuck did this? They got paid for this shit? <laughs> Alright, Dave. Chinese Fireball. <laughs> Harry's like, my name's Harry. <laughs> oh no, I don't even have burn heal. Don't play with fire, kid. <laughs> Those films aren't even good. Like, sorry, but if you give me the choice between watching a Harry Potter movie and anything else, I'll probably watch anything else. Unless it's, like, something that's even worse. Like, I'm trying to think what's even worse than that. <sighs> Almost everything. <laughs> of course, Furret, our one true lord. Also, I'm just seeing that I have, like, the output at, like, stretched. <laughs> it's, like, stretching the 4 to 3 into 16 to 9. And Furret's face just looked like it was, like, a mile wide. 
Melvin. He's like the Mandark of the game. Like the ha 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 ha. Do you know what I was asking myself yesterday? Um, why does Dexter talk like one of the villains in Rocky and Bullwinkle? Like, why does he talk like he's from Soviet Russia when all the rest of his family have, like, just some bargain basement bog standard American accent? Like, why does Dexter sound like that? Why is he all like, you idiot, DD? You know nothing about the science I work on. At last, my greatest work completed. Like, why does he talk like that? And all the rest of his family are just like, well, hey, Dexter, I'm your dad. And Dee Dee's like, what does this button do? Like, where did that come from? Battle against Super Nerd Melvin? I've already battled him. Look, he's seething. He's absolutely seething. So, um, we... I don't think we're going to get all the way to Elite Four um, class tonight. Um, I think it's maybe time to switch games. I usually like to go for like just under an hour or about an hour a game. So um, maybe we'll switch things up. Again, do you need me to remind you of what games I have? Will we play like the creepypasta game that doesn't have a label and I literally don't know what it is? <laughs> the mystery game? <laughs> I kind of feel I need witnesses to this, because what if it does turn into some sort of, like, Annabelle situation where this ruins my life? Like the days of Marble Hornets. Does anyone remember Marble Hornets being a thing? Yeah, exactly. It'll just summon Splitable Infinitive. Okay, that's what we're doing. So, Earl, it's been great. You've brought so much into my life. Actually, before we do that, I just want to show off the library, because I think this is, like, the coolest thing, right, to put in a game. Like, they put this whole library in the game where you can check everything like you can check the move power accuracy and pp and type of every move you can check like the pokemon as well like like for example we can see the don fan like how he evolves like he evolves from fan p at level 25 you can check like what moves the don fan learns like it how what he learns by level what he learns, like, by egg, what he can learn by TM. Like, I think this is so cool. Like, sorry, but, like, whoever, like, it's so low effort for them to put this in because it's just data that, like, all they'd have to do is make an Excel file. Sorry, like, uh, you know, it's so, like, low effort for them to do that. But it makes such a difference. Um, like, it, like, imagine, like, all these kids, unless you were like me and you had some sort of guidebook that had all this crap in it, but... To have that in Pokemon Stadium 2 is actually quite cool. You know, especially the egg groups. They're not always obvious, you know. Like, it's not always obvious which, which Pokemon can procreate with each other. 